So this is a three horsepower Johnson, 1964 uh, JW19M, and it's been sitting in someone's basement for about 30 years. It's had one owner, and after the owner passed away, the son put it in his own basement in a heated home and left it there for 30 years until he had to move out of his house and had to get, get rid of it. So I've picked it up and I haven't taken anything apart. I already know that uh, the grease is all gummed up and won't swivel. There is about a quarter inch of varnished gasoline in the tank. I'm pretty sure the carburetor is going to be in the same condition, but all the parts seem to be here. So this is going to be a complete teardown and rebuild. I'm going to uh, fill some minor dents in the gas tank and uh, give it a repaint, new decals, and all the new gaskets and seals are on order. So today I'm going to be taking the cowling off and taking a look at at uh, at the inner parts and see if there's a fuel pump or not or if it's just gravity fed and just slowly start taking it apart so stick around welcome back so we're about to start work on this Johnson engine so we've got the engine we've got a clean workbench and <clears throat> we've got space to store all the parts as we start taking it apart. But before we start taking this thing apart, a couple things I want to do. I do want to check for spark and maybe do a cold compression test. But before I try turning this engine over, I want to give the pistons and cylinders a couple days to soak in some oil, make sure that they're moving nicely and I'm not going to destroy the, the cylinders when I turn it over. So. For tonight, we're going to remove the cowling. There's five bolts to undo. There's one on that end of the handle. And there's four bolts to come off to let the cowling come off. Then we're going to remove the spark plugs, spray in some oil, gently turn it over a couple times, and then leave it, come back, do it again tomorrow. So I'll bring you back after I've got the cowling off and we can take those spark plugs off and take our first look inside the block. Okay, well, the cowling's come off easily enough. But before we can look inside those cylinders, we're going to have to wait until penetrating oil works its way into those spark plugs. They are rusted on solid. So we're going to let that soak for the day, come back tomorrow. See if those plugs come out. Welcome back. So we've uh, checked the compression. We've checked for spark. We have the bottom cylinder has spark. The top cylinder doesn't. And compression uh, is pretty good. Uh, 90 for the top, 80 from the bottom. And I'm guessing that at some point uh, this motor was basically being run off of one cylinder for a while, the bottom one. So today we're going to uh, take off the pull start, the recoil, take off the gas tank, and pull the flywheel, and take a look at the components in the magneto. It uh, could be just the ignition wire, could be a coil, could be a condenser, or the point. So let's take a look at all of this. First things first, let's get this recoil off. Right, so I removed the bolts holding the gas tank down, disconnected the gas line. So this should lift pretty much straight up. There we go. 
go.
Well, <clears throat> took uh, waiting for the penetrating oil to work its way in. A little bit of heat, a little bit of tapping. The flywheel finally came loose, so we're going to take a look inside, see if we've got any cracked coils. Oh, what a fucking mess. I'm surprised one of those coils worked. So, <clears throat> here's what we're working with. I got to order at least two new coils. So, while I'm at it, I may as well order new condensers, points, and ignition wires. And we'll be back when that arrives in the mail. Take care.